Today marks a moment of truth and a bold step forward for PlayStation as a company, as creators and innovators, and as industry leaders. We'll show you how we're strengthening the PlayStation ecosystem through hardware, software, and network capabilities that, when unified, create truly magical experiences that can only be found in our world. With the gamer as the focal point for our efforts, we've created a platform attuned to consumers' changing behaviors and an evolving sense of play. Our vision for the future is consumer-centric, developer-inspired, and characterized by an unwavering commitment to phenomenal play experiences. Every facet of PlayStation will continue to become more powerful, and as you'll see today, remains at the heart of every new innovation we create. We will give you a glimpse into the future of play, a reimagination of the gaming experience that has been developer-led, consumer-inspired, and powerfully and thoughtfully engineered by Sony Computer Entertainment. We believe that PlayStation 4 represents a significant shift from thinking of PlayStation as merely a box or a console to thinking of PlayStation as a leading authority on play. PlayStation 4 will unleash imaginations to create next generation experiences that surpass gamers' wildest expectations. For gamers around the world, PlayStation is the best place to play. My role on the development of the next generation platform started about five years ago. At that time, we began to look at how the, the console architecture could free developers from painful technological limitations and enable them to create the game experiences that they'd always been dreaming of making. We also looked at how the whole PlayStation ecosystem could be evolved as well to allow the player to take a dynamic, preference-driven path through the world of content. So for PlayStation 4, while we knew that the core performance of the console would be vital to its success, the cross-disciplinary team that we assembled had several additional goals. We wanted to make sure that nothing would come between platform and the joy of play. We also wanted to be sure that the system architecture could fluidly connect the player to a, a larger world of experiences and provide easy access to everything PlayStation has to offer. And finally, we spoke to dozens of the best teams in the world. We wanted to know what was important to them. We wanted to make them happy. Because if they were happy, we knew we could unleash the uh, creativity and innovation that would result in a true next generation experience. Our goal was to create an architecture that would facilitate the expression of their ideas. And we were able to create in PlayStation 4, a platform by game creators for game creators. Now, the architecture that we chose is, is like a PC in many ways, but supercharged to bring out its full potential as a gaming platform. CPU, we chose the most familiar architecture on the planet, the x86. Uh, allowing us to tap into over three decades of programming expertise. PlayStation 4 is centered around a powerful APU that combines eight CPU cores with a state-of-the-art GPU with almost two teraflops of computational performance. For the graphics processor, we decided to use a highly enhanced PC GPU, something that would be easy to develop for in the early days of the platform lifecycle, but at the same time, a, a GPU with remarkable long-term potential. For system memory, we're using GDDR5. This gives us 176 gigabytes per second of bandwidth and provides a further boost to the GPU performance. Overall, this architecture is designed to ensure that the very best games and the most immersive experiences will reach the player. PlayStation 4 also has a secondary custom chip that manages uploads and downloads. As a result, it's possible to download or update games in the background, or even with the main power off. Digital titles are playable even as they are being downloaded. 
When you purchase a title, you download just a fraction of the data and begin playing. The rest of the data is downloaded in the background as you continue to play the game. Social play is so important to PlayStation 4 that we've added in hardware to support it in the form of dedicated, always-on video compression and decompression systems. And on PlayStation 4, we are transitioning to a friends network based on real-world friends. Most of the new social dimension to PlayStation 4 will be interacting with friends using real names and profile pictures, most likely seeded from your existing social network. PlayStation 4 is designed to be a highly integrated platform, seamlessly interconnected across the network to the full PlayStation ecosystem, as well as to key third-party devices and services. And our final ambition with PlayStation 4 is personalization. The concept that the system can get to know you and bring you closer to the games and other experiences that you're seeking. Our long-term vision is to reduce download times of digital titles to zero. If we know enough about you to predict the next game you'll purchase, then that game can be loaded and ready to go before you even click the buy button. For the first time, the new controller. And here it is, the DualShock 4. During the development of the DualShock 4, we worked with key partners in the development community to enhance the feel of the joystick and the trigger buttons. We also um, took this as an opportunity to enhance the rumble capabilities and reduce the controller latency. And finally, we added a few new features. A touchpad as a new form of input, a share button and a headphone jack to enhance social interactions, and a light bar as a simpler, more friendly way to identify players. And this new controller was designed in tandem with a, a stereo camera that can sense the depth of the environment in front of it and track the 3D position of the controller via its light bar. PlayStation 4 is an incredible platform and it's imperative that the PlayStation Network delivers a connected experience that is equally incredible and delivers on the vision of the PlayStation 4. What we're creating is the fastest, most powerful network for gaming in the world. With Gaikai in the PlayStation Store, you'll be able to instantly experience anything that you want. By putting social at the core of PlayStation 4 experiences, we can layer in new features meaningful to gamers. We've partnered with some of the biggest and most influential social networks in the world, including Facebook and Ustream. Our vision is to create the first social gaming network with meaning. The PlayStation Network wraps you in your favorite content wherever you are, across the PS4, the PS3, the PS Vita, smartphones and tablets. PS Vita is the ultimate companion device for PS4, enabling gamers to put their games from their beautiful HD TVs right onto their PS Vita's beautiful 5-inch OLED display. The technology is so advanced that someday we could easily put PS1, PS2, PS3, and the PS Mobile games on any device, including the PlayStation 4. PlayStation Network will have services including Sony's own Video Unlimited and Music Unlimited, and we're working with leading services like Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, and other media services to have them on the platform. Although we've only shown glimpses of these new exclusive titles and some creative explorations being developed for PlayStation 4, I think you'll agree that our Worldwide Studios team and the indie community is pushing the boundaries into how games look, feel, and interact. I'm proud to announce that virtually every major third-party partner across North America, Europe, Japan, and Asia will support PlayStation 4. The arrival of PlayStation 4 presents an enormous opportunity to dramatically evolve the gameplay experience. From intensified power, to enhanced social capabilities, to bigger, better, and more immersive gameplay, and a simple adaptive interface, we believe PlayStation 4 proves that we have more to offer than ever before.